Hi, I'm Ted Sokolowski, and I'd like to tell you about my finesse scraper that will help make your finishes look better, especially on difficult to work wood. It will make your sanding easier, but most importantly, your final forms will really sing. Follow along, I'll show you what I mean. You know, on your average piece of straight grained wood, you can do a decent job of cutting with gouges, and you may not need to scrape at all. But from my experience of selling my work at craft shows, straight grain woods don't sell well. It's always that special piece of wood that catches someone's attention and leads them to buy the uniqueness of the wood. I call them the trouble woods. You probably know them as quilted, curly, crotch, soft and hard areas as in spalted woods, burls, knots, and more. Cutting with a standard gouge on trouble wood works great for the basic cuts and general shaping. But finding the final form or finessing the form with a gouge is very difficult. Try to model the form with any sort of control and you'll usually produce more little ripples. Sometimes not easy to see, but easily felt. The changing grain pattern goes from easy cutting to hard cutting on every revolution, making the gouge squirrely in your hands. You end up with a death grip on the gouge and you keep cutting and cutting, unintentionally changing the form. Once you tighten up to gain control of the tool, you lose control of the cut. You have to stay flexible and loose in order for the cut to appear flawless, free, and flowing. Thus, there are too many variables in using a spindle gouge. It moves forward and backward, up and down, left and right, with full rotation. And it requires a combination of all eight movements to finesse around curves like this. That's why the gouge really doesn't work well as a finessing tool. Finessing the form doesn't have to be difficult. We all make tiny little mistakes. That's why pencils come with erasers. After all, we really are drawing with the gouge. An easy, effective way to fix mistakes like these is with a negative rake scraper like the finesse scraper. If the gouge is your pencil, the finesse scraper is your eraser. I believe its most useful function is to pull out the form and add a sense of feeling. Using the chisel is very easy with almost no learning curve. You just need to develop a feel for knowing whether to push or pull on the cut or both. This comes with a little practice. They are designed to be used flat on the tool rest or with the handle slightly up. Keep the handle pressed up against your side or tucked under your forearm and move your whole body with the tool. You'll never get a catch or dig in using the tool this way. The sides are factory radius so they glide on your tool rest. The catches you see here are the result of glue spatter that's dried out on the tool rest. That's why it's very important that your tool rest is smooth, clean, and nick-free, or imperfections like these will transfer through the tool to your work. This is true of any chisel, so keep the tool rest blemish and glue spatter free. The cool thing about these scrapers is they allow your whole body to fine-tune a curve with a fluid motion from side to side originating from my ankles and enabling me to control the curves in the most sensuous way. Bowl and spindle gouges don't allow the same body movement behind the lathe on the final pass on all the curves, thus leaving a surface that looks labored over and stiff. It took me years to realize this. I thought, like most woodturners think, scraping is taboo. It's like the old saying, it's not what you know, it's what you think you know that ain't so. 
Just look and see what happens on this piece of cocobolo after cutting with the gouge. As I start to sand, look at the color change in the wood. Now watch what happens when I use my finesse scraper. A similar patina appears. Let's stop the lathe and look really close. Surface patina is just about identical. I can clearly see now that both processes scrape. So what's the difference? I have more control over the shaping process when using the finesse scraper. The sandpaper cuts everything in its path. The highs and the low spots are removed without regard to form. The finesse scraper, on the other hand, forces you to look for the subtle ripples and allows you to remove the high spots with pinpoint accuracy and feather out each pass. It allows you to erase the tiny little imperfections with precision, leaving behind a smooth form with sensuous curves. Once you realize the emotion and feeling you can put into your final form so effortlessly, just by removing a few wisps of wood that seem to fall off in all the right places with extreme control, you'll really appreciate the finessing capabilities of this scraper. These scrapers are designed primarily for use on spindle-oriented work, but can also be applied in bowl orientation. They are for finessing the final form after cutting the initial shape with the gouge prior to sanding. These scrapers are not designed for heavy removal of wood, but light shaping cuts. A side benefit of the fingernail grind is that you can flip the tool over to present a new sharp edge very seamlessly without breaking your rhythm. Sharpening the tool is quick and easy as well. Keep the scraper flat on the grinder's tool rest and stroke the edge in a sweeping arc contacting both corners of the grinder's wheel on each pass. Flip the tool over and grind the same amount on the opposite side. You'll know it's sharp when you can't see an edge. If you can see reflected light on the edge, it means the tool is dull. It's very important to retain the fingernail shape. Any flat areas on the chisel will create two points and will lead to scratches on your work. I use the tool so often that I have a grinder wheel dedicated just for sharpening the finesse scraper. I know many of you have seen me use these scrapers in my recent videos, and quite often I'm asked to stock them on my website. Well, I'm pleased to finally offer them now. They are high quality chisels made by Henry Taylor using Sheffield steel. The tools are made from M2 high speed steel. M2 offers good wear resistance as well as providing a good edge when sharpening. I personally grind the cutting edge by hand and the chisels are ready for immediate use. The three quarter inch scraper excels on long broad flowing curves and the smaller half-inch fingernail scraper is great for getting into tight coves and pulling out the form. I use these just before the sanding stage on all my pepper mills. The quarter inch is used primarily for smaller coves, such as those found on wine stoppers. Some of the nicest pieces I have created and sold were very difficult to cut with a standard gouge. But with the finesse scraper, I can relax and enjoy the shaping process, feel good about wood turning, not worry about catches, and concentrate on the creation rather than stress over the process. Good forms are really only a few wisps of wood away. I find using these scrapers the only sane way to finesse the form. They work so well I now use them on all of my pieces. Try them, you won't be disappointed. Good luck to you and your wood turning.